Hello everyone, I am Tejas Ranjalkar. I have secured All India Rank 24 in ESC 2018 in Electronics and Telecommunication Engineering. I have taken classroom coaching in Ace Engineering Academy. Uh, at this moment, I would like to express my sincere thanks to my parents, my sisters and my brothers-in-law. Without this support, I won't be standing here today. And I would also express, I would also like to express my sincere thanks to all the faculty and non-teaching staff in ACE Academy, whose support has made my stay at ACE Engineering Academy very, very happy. Mm, coming to the exam, uh, so I would say it is two parts in, uh, uh, in clearing this exam. First thing is preparation. Uh, it doesn't matter where you get your concepts cleared, be it textbook or you attend classes in the uh, classroom coaching. The basic thing is for to clear this exam, you need to have your basic concepts very, very strong. So if you are preparing at home, you have to go through textbooks or anything else and uh, have your basics very clear. Or uh, even in the classrooms, our ACE faculty are very expert um, and uh, they teach in a very precise and exam oriented way. And uh, for the prelims especially, you need to have special emphasis on theory questions also, which might make or break your prelims. And uh, uh, especially in prelims, we need to be very accurate. And for that, you can practice more and more questions, solve previous papers, and uh, give test series and evaluate your weak areas, and uh, at the same time, improve your accuracy. And uh, one general suggestion is that, you know, uh, don't just try to clear prelims. Uh, have a margin, like think of a margin so that even in even in worst case, you will be clearing prelims and if you have a good margin, you will end up getting a good rank in the future. And for the mains part, uh, actually because it is QCAB format, I took it as an advantage because we, uh, what they are expecting is very you know, precise answer and a valid one. So if we give them what, is, what they are looking for in a short, short manner, then you will get almost full marks. So, uh, you know, don't be worried that uh, people, uh, UPSC is giving very short space and we are not able to write a full answer what we are thinking. Sometimes you won't be looking for very less, so they might be providing you very less space. And uh, uh, one more general suggestion is that don't let your, because both the prelims and mains are two, two I mean, uh, we give two papers. Sometimes what happens is our morning paper does not go well and what happens is it gets cascaded into our second paper. So we need to keep, keep our calm and you know, do the second paper well. And there is always a chance for comeback. You got to believe in yourself. And for interview, what I would say is, I don't really, uh, I think only being honest is the best thing in interview and have super, superficial knowledge of all things, some general studies and uh, DAF, while filling DAF, you need to be careful what you fill. And you know, uh, subject-wise, they'll be only testing your basics. So you need not worry much about, because already you have cleared prelims and mains, so your basics will be enough. And, thank, uh, and one thing I have uh, observed with aspirants is, they study all the subjects all the time, but tend to keep for forgetting. You know, they can or you can overcome that by playing all the music at once. Like, you need to do all the subjects at once so that you can know how much you are actually remembering, how much you are actually recollecting. And for that, you know, just take a previous paper or just take last year's paper and sit for three hours, you can solve the paper, then you will know how much you are remembering and you can identify your weak areas and what you are, you know, la lagging and then you can overcome it. Thank you. And once again, I would like to thank ACE Academy for all the support.